Welcome to the channel about news from around the world. While you subscribe and like it, we're going to start. While the IOC functionaries, together with the leaders of the leading Western countries, are discussing the issue of Russian and Belarusian athletes' admission to the Summer Olympics in Paris. Russia, not wanting to be in bondage and meet sometimes unacceptable conditions, has decided to return to the international arena in another way. To this end, it plans to organize a large-scale competition alternative to those held under the auspices of the IOC. At the beginning of May 2023, at a meeting with the head of state, the Russian sports minister proposed that Kazan should host the 2020 for BRICS Games. Time to coincide with the summit of that international organization. The city also plans to host the Friendship Games with the participation of athletes from all over the world who for various reasons, including political, will not be taking part in the 23rd summer. Olympics. If they are not held in parallel with the official IOC competition, the best of the best can attend. The final decision on the admission of the Russians to the Olympics will not be taken before the 26th of July. Some athletes will not make it to the Games and they need to be provided with another incentive. The Friendship Games were first held in 2022 with the participation of athletes from Russia and Belarus, S, who were banned from the competitions organized by Fina and Len. They were joined by representatives of those countries where swimming, diving and synchronized swimming are just beginning to develop. A total of over a thousand athletes from 22 countries took part in the Games. There are several reasons to count on the success of the current Friendship Games, the attractive prizes, the convenient competition window for athletes and the participation of athletes from China. The policy of double standards and the imposition of ultimatums cannot go on for long. The transformation of professional sport into a tool for political games has crossed the line beyond which it is impossible to engage in dialogue with those who talk all the time. From a position of strength. The reaction of the West to Russia's new initiative is all the more surprising. Francesco Bitti, head of the Paris 2024 organizing committee, called Russia's plans controversial and urged them not to overstep the bounds of the Olympic movement, although the IOC functionaries went beyond them themselves to please the political conjuncture long ago. Bitti called the Friendship Games a divisive competition and lamented the need to stick to a common competition apparatus. According to information circulated by Inside the Games, a portal close to the IOC leadership, there is panic in the committee over the possible holding of the rebellious games and the participation of not only Russian, but also Chinese athletes in them. Every action breeds opposition. It seems that IOC functionaries and their Western patrons are not very familiar with Newton's third law of motion. Otherwise, they would not have to bite their elbows in panic and call for a return to the framework of the Olympic movement, from which they themselves seem to have finally abandoned. Thank you for watching. If you're interested, subscribe and leave a comment.